Hello everybody, it's Renari. Welcome back to my BTS journey, kind of. Today is going to be two lyric videos just like I did in Oh Are You Late 2 because Rain and Can You Turn Off Your Phone don't have like a music video or a live performance that's official-ish, like it's just fan cams or they just don't perform them. So I'm going to be doing the lyric videos for those songs. I haven't heard Rain at all. I have no idea what that song is. Can you turn off your phone? I heard once and I remember I really liked it. So I put it on my playlist. I can't remember anything about it. So it's going to be all brand new to me. Of course, there won't be a scene stealer for this just because it is just the lyrics. Um, but I am, of course, going to be paying attention to all their vocals. And I hope the color coded is correct because... If not, I hope I can I can catch it. If you like my content and my BTS journey, please subscribe to my channel for more. And of course, let me know what songs I'm missing. I mean, I'm getting through Dark and Wild pretty quickly, and it's becoming one of my favorite albums. I always thought that Map of the Soul 7 was my favorite album, but maybe Dark and Wild is a contender here because I'm liking pretty much every song on here so far. I don't know if I'm going to get every song on the album, but I'm definitely going to be doing um, some of them that I know have live performances or dance choreo uh, after this one. So let's get into Rain to start with. Okay, starting with Thunder. I don't know if I have a lot of thoughts or no thoughts at all. Um, okay, so this is maybe literally just about being in the rain. Like, I love when they just create songs that are so poetic, but it's just about something so simple. It has a jazzy feel to it, so let's see how it progresses. <laughs> What's that word? Gray. I don't know how to say it. Oh, I like that little higher note on the end there. What I'm really liking about the song so far is the imagery. Uh, everything from what RM said to the chorus about it's a gray, rainy day in Seoul. You're just walking around with your thoughts. Everything just seems the same. And there's nothing to think about except for the weather. Like, I can picture myself, obviously I haven't been to Seoul, but I can picture myself in a cityscape with the rain, the clouds, and just with a clear or crowded head, just like kind of doing your own thing and and just being in that weather so i i think that's cool because they're I, I just really enjoy how i can actually picture exactly what they're singing about oh it's gonna make goosebumps <laughs> they always give me shivers especially when i haven't heard the song <laughs> It's really, um, as somebody who wants to be a writer, I'll say, um, it's really interesting how they're actually just telling a story instead of lyrics that are very disjointed. They, they all have a continuation to them. We can see from Sugar lying in bed, looking at the window, how the rain is making him feel, to getting a text, to getting up, to like it's just telling the story 
and putting it to music, which is lovely for me to to read. Like I could read this and enjoy it. That was the only, this is the only line so far that's about another person um, romantically or a relationship of some sorts. Am I someone who engraved my existence to you like the rain? And he's talking about how the rain is, is it's pouring outside and it's like the rain wants its existence to be known. Everyone so far RM, Sugar, and even in the course they're they're acknowledging that the rain is there, that that's the setting that they're in. Very cool. Very cool way of telling the story. Such a simple story. <sighs> they're really personifying the rain they're making the rain almost feel like this eighth character in this story assuming you know all seven members are telling the story it's like the rain is its own being as well with its own thoughts and feelings and that's another thing they are personifying a lot of different things in the song there was rm saying the innocent refrigerator J-Hope saying the wrinkled um umbrella is like my face. Uh, they're just making all these items, these objects have feelings. <laughs> like they're they're part of the story. They're living things. From a writer's standpoint, this is the perfect poem that they've added a rhythm to to make into a perfect song. <laughs> I also, I, I know I'm stopping it a lot, but I really love these lyrics and how they're coming together. I love how in the chorus they say, I see myself looking more miserable today in the reflection of the puddle. So they're not, mo most of the lyrics haven't been, haven't been about them actually feeling sad or miserable. Um, I think there was one line in Sugars that said the rain looks like how he's feeling. But otherwise, they haven't outright said that they're feeling a certain type of way um sad happy whatever but they're saying that now that they see themselves in the reflection they can actually see that they are looking miserable and down but maybe they're not actually feeling like that is what i'm trying to say they're, they're seeing that and that's what their face is looking like but internally they haven't said actually how they're feeling so it's interesting that they would be able to see that but they haven't expressed that feeling to us yet a not so beautiful me is looking at myself I like the, the sounds of the rain falling. It's almost like you are outside on a street. 
I love that song <laughs> for a completely different reason than I usually do. I usually like I, I do like the jazzy feel of it and how it came together. I especially love the chorus, the vocals, but I love the lyrics of that song so much because they're so there's so much packed into such simple lyrics and such a simple meaning. I mean, they're just talking about rain, but they're but they're not. It's more than that. And it's up for you to really interpret what's happening in this rain and why it's so important to talk about. Okay, so um, I'll try not to pause as much for this one because I I don't know what the lyrics are going to tell me, but we'll see. Can You Turn Off Your Phone by BTS. It sounds really, it sounds like a silly song almost, but I'm pretty sure I liked it for a reason, so let's see. All right. (laughs) So this is another one. They're telling a simple story about how phones are taking over the world and we don't actually have any human interaction at all. But this beat with it is so good. Like, it's just, it's such a smooth song. Oh, that was great. I love how they all went uh, right back to back. This part. Oh. (laughs) This is also true, though. (laughs) I try my best to not be on my phone at, like, dinner when I'm out with my friends. But, like, sometimes you just check it. It's a habit. Like, we're literally addicted to our phones. Also, I love this. <laughs> when you're out of battery, do you think we'll be charged? When your phone finally runs out of battery, do you think we'll actually have a connection here? That I love this. <laughs> Everyone needs to hear this song. <laughs> That's weird that they didn't say who was singing there. Or did they? No, it's just Sugar. But someone was singing. I bet they don't have this issue as much when they're with each other. Like, I'm sure they're all on their phones, but as far as what we see, they have a genuine connection when they're just face-to-face with no electronics.
I love the little sound effects. <laughs> I love that. That's great. That's usually a J-Hope thing, and J-Hope's first had that as well, the sound effects. Those are two completely different songs. I loved both of them. Can You Turn Off Your Phone is one that I can actually see me, me listening to more regularly, just because it's more of a fun song. A fun song with like a dark meaning. I mean, some people won't take it that way, but really, it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark for there to be a song about how we don't communicate, because that's just how common it is. <laughs> and like... BTS did that because they're not singing about bullshit. They're singing about real things that we all need to think about sometimes. And Rain, I could dissect those lyrics forever. <laughs> really, I could. So that one was great as well. Um, it definitely has the same feeling as some of their other jazzy tones. And honestly, I kind of like Can You Turn Off Your Phone kind of started a little jazzy and then it turned into something else. Again, how can we put in what genre of music that was pop and i don't know maybe it was just pop whatever it was great regardless i'm not even in the middle why do i always do that okay (laughs) um if you like this video let me know give it a like and i'll see you in the next one where we will have a scene stealer in that video and thank you so much for watching